The immigrant story is the American story. It is the story that immigrants and new Americans bring richness to American life. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Mitchell and I'm the CEO of Luminous. Today, we are actually beginning a series of interviews that are here at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. In fact, the first, we're going to meet the executive director of the Baltimore Museum of Industry and see an exhibit that actually highlights the work and the innovation of one particular immigrant who fled Nazi Germany. Thank you, and let's start our discussion. And we're back. Today, we are interviewing the executive director of the Baltimore Museum of Industry, Anita Kassoff. Anita is going to tell us about the museum and about its history and also her own story. So we're really blessed to be here. Anita, it's great to meet you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So tell me about your journey to the museum, your own personal journey. Sure. I've been here about six years now. Um, I am not a native Baltimorean, but my husband and I have lived here for going on 30 years. I have always worked in the museum world, but Immediately before I came to the Baltimore Museum of Industry, I was actually working in New York at a museum there for a while. When I came back to work at the BMI, it was, it was kind of a homecoming of sorts. That's great. And we are here in front of an exhibit about an immigrant, right? And so tell us the story about um, Old Bay and, and that immigrant. Sure. Many people don't know that Old Bay seasoning was actually invented by a German immigrant to Baltimore, Gustav Brunn, who came here in the late 30s with his family to es escape Nazi oppression. He initially worked at McCormick. He had been the victim of anti-Semitic discrimination there. Um, he launched out on his own and he established the Baltimore Spice Company. He invented Old Bay as a seasoning for seafood. Um, and the rest is history. Um, it's now an iconic Maryland flavor. Wow, and, and walking around this museum, you see the stories of many, uh, of industry and immigrants. Can you weave those two things together for us to help the audience who hasn't been here learn a little bit about the museum itself? Sure. It's, it's true, you do see those stories of industry and immigration woven throughout the museum. And I guess the, the one common element running through both of those stories is geography. Our port is the farthest west of the East Coast port, so we're closer to Midwestern markets. Our port was also one of the hubs of immigration during the, the period when people were immigrating to this country. Locust Point, just down the street, um, was second only to New York Harbor. When you put together the fact that we had the industry, the growing industry, and the people to work there, it really became just sort of a, a synergy that helped Baltimore grow into what it is, and a lot of those stories are told into the museum. That's amazing. You know, at Luminous, one of the things we're focused on is the fact that immigrants bring and enrich American life through Absolutely. industry and through innovation. And I think one of the things, even with the story you just shared, is exactly that. What sort of message would you have for the audience about both immigrants, innovation, and industry, the three eyes, if you will, and you know, what could they learn, not just by coming here, but understanding those stories better? I think it's important for people to understand the vast array of contributions that immigrants have made to Baltimore and that they continue to make. No matter the contribution, this is a country built on the labor and in the innovation and on the genius of immigrants, and that continues today. Wow, that is a great place to end this interview. You know, I would encourage all of our viewers to come here. It's on Key Highway in Baltimore. We are really grateful that they're hosting us for a series of, of interviews that you're gonna see in the coming weeks and months. And to see not just this exhibit and learn about that history, but to really share that with your friends and networks. Thank you so much, Anita. My pleasure, thank you. Everyone, thank you for joining today's story and today's video. If you want to get more involved, you can give to the Luminous Fund for New Americans, or you can volunteer with us, both on the website. No matter what you do, just remember this, Luminous is from you to us, and that's what we are about at Luminous, and you can be about as well if you engage with us. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, be well.